unless you schedule a prayer time, you never pray. No matter how big you are in the things of God, even if you are a general in the kingdom of God, if you don't schedule it, you will not pray. You wake up and reach out for your phone and not reach out for God. It becomes so simple. You just wake up 4 a.m. and you just, my phone. You're already on WhatsApp. Who wrote what? Who said what? So you're constantly on WhatsApp. What is happening there? Because that's where your flesh takes you. Your flesh never takes you to a message. It takes you to your phone. So, so the point is, when you tell your flesh, at 10 we are praying. Yes, sir. Even if your flesh tries to resist, it will try to resist a little bit. And like, you know, um, I, I, I told somebody uh, something very important. And I said, um, I also received it from Pastor Chris. He said, learn to love the thing that benefits you. Amen. Learn. Amen. You, a prayer, you don't like it. But guess what? It benefits you. So learn to love the thing that benefits you. So how do you do it now? You you schedule your time. At 10 a.m. every morning, I'm praying for two minutes. I'm praying for five minutes. Don't start with two hours. Start with three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, 10. And then at 12, I'll pray for five minutes. I'll pray for three minutes. Then the following morning, the following day you add. You keep on adding. And when you get three minutes at, at 10, guess what? N- understand, have you finished? Right. Have you finished all the things that you wanted to tell God? Is it done? Just say, okay, let me just tell him this and tell him that. If you go there as a ritual, you have a problem. If you do it as a ritual, of course, time should be a ritualistic thing where you kind of attain, I'm going to be praying. See? Uh, I remember when uh, uh, Pastor Alex Brito was asking me uh, something like, you know, from what time to what time do I need to pray? And it's, um, it's actually something that, that, that links in the prophetic because he was asking as well, come in here. And the first question is on prayer. Oh, so when you are in prayer, you can say, I'm going to do 10. No, don't say 10 to 5. No, just say 10 o'clock. If I do 3 minutes, 4 minutes, that's it. And when you get in there, tell God what you need. Tell God all you are thinking about. If you have not finished, don't, 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 don't come out of that prayer closet unless you're going to work and if you're going to work you can drive while you're speaking in tongues and tongues are the easiest way because the language the non-language is a problem you quickly exhaust it it goes words that's why we have an alphabet it actually tells you we end here all right we even have the number of words in an english uh in the english language but in tongues it expands and expands and expands and expands. And your mind is unfruitful, as, the, as Paul says. Your mind is unfruitful. So if your mind is unfruitful, guess what? It doesn't stop you. It doesn't say it's not boring. It doesn't say that. You just go. You see, when I'm doing this, it keeps on bringing new words. New words into the atmosphere. It's no longer what word can I use? What other line can I tell God? You imagine you tell God 10 points that you, five points that you wanted to give him. You're done. Right. Now you're repeating yourself. Now it's boring. Yes. Now it's tedious. So the only thing you can do is you get into tongues. Even you, you don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> because your mind is what? It's unfruitful. Yes, it's only after you're done. That's when, or when you're about to enter those machine gun tongues towards the end there. Then you realize, okay, I think I'm talking about this now yeah it's that thing i feel that bed and going i feel that bed and going that means that's what i said in tongues and move on so number one create schedule time for prayer number two use tongues number three never tell yourself i'm finishing in uh, four past just say 10 if i do a three minute prayer no if i do four minutes good but while it's you do that always remember number three point what you do is tell god all you wanted to tell him just like a friend yeah 